Hello everyone. So I eventually decided to move from uh, Windows to Linux um, or from Mac OS to Linux. Uh, again, it's not a bad idea. Uh, it's something uh, of a new experience. And um, you'll see that it's actually working very well, especially nowadays that uh, Linux has become more performant than those two operating systems. And uh, I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> We will we'll have at some point in time a discussion about performance and why I also use Arch Linux. But getting back to, uh, to this part is, um, I've comprised a list to some of the most used uh, text uh, editors, uh, PDF viewers, scan documents, and reading books. Uh, for those of you who in general do office work, um, or you know, you're a student or you just want to read books on your own personal time or do any kind of uh, work in this direction with documents, I've comprised this uh, list with some of the best options that you have um, for, uh, for Linux and also free to use. Um, for text editors, we have LibreOffice, OpenOffice, uh, Joplin, and R note, and I'm gonna show uh, each and uh, every uh, every one of them uh, in just a few uh, minutes. Then for the PDF viewers and editors, we have Ocular and Evans. Uh, for scanning documents, we have Document Scanner, which comes out of the box, usually in GNOME uh, desktop uh, <coughs> viewers, and uh, scans to PDF as well. For reading books, we have uh, Calibre and Foliate. Uh, granted, this can open multiple types of uh, extensions, including PDFs as well. And Ocular uh, can do it as well. So let's see, LibreOffice. LibreOffice is basically uh, a uh, alternative to um, uh, Microsoft Office uh, and um, you know, Google Docs as well. Uh, granted. But this one it's uh, meant for using on your desktop machine. It comes with uh, anything uh, that you mostly have been used to in Microsoft Office as well, or other options that are meant for Windows or Mac OS. Um, if I am to open LibreOffice, you can see I have it already installed. It comes with uh, LibreOffice Writer. Basically, that would be your alternative for uh, Word. Uh, office draw that would be uh, something like uh, what I can't really remember right now from Microsoft Office what it was um, PowerPoint yeah then you have uh, your calc which is something like Excel you have other stuff like math and and base uh, this is like you know you're doing a small database locally and this is basically you're doing uh, applications with uh, mathematics uh, you can write uh, documents in that direction. Uh, if you just open LibreOffice directly, uh, directly it's gonna uh, give you an option to uh, write a document, do a spreadsheet, presentation, some drawing, math form, or databases. Which is, I said, it's almost like you know Microsoft Office or other al uh, alternatives for Windows there. But this is on on um, on Linux. Uh, you have also templates out the box. Of course, it's free to use. That's no problem. You can immediately start with anything you want. For example, uh, modern business letter. Let's open this. This automatically gives you, you see, an, an, an option. Uh, granted, uh, we can do a new document and then you have the same thing here. Spreadsheet, documentation, and presentation, whatever have you. And of course, it gives you the option to select again a uh, template How about this one over <laughs> there you go so you have all these options with uh, with LibreOffice so feel free to go ahead and explore it the uh, other merge um, honorable mention let's say is OpenOffice as well although the website doesn't look as slick as uh, the LibreOffice one this is a good alternative and it does uh, uh, almost the same things as uh, LibreOffice does as well. So go ahead, feel free to install it and uh, see uh, what you do about it. Um, of course, um, if you want to install it, uh, you need to have access to, uh, uh, to the store on your operating system. Uh, in general, if you are on Ubuntu, 
they have their own store, Snap Store. If you have something like Fedora or Debian um, or even uh, Kaki OS Linux or Zorin OS, you have access to uh, FlatHub as well. Um, FlatHub, uh, it's this address, flathub.org. Or uh, usually you do this store on your operating system. I said if you have on. Um, uh, the, the, this store comes uh, um, by default with uh, Fedora. Uh, if you are on Fedora, uh, in general, you might need to install it for uh, other operating systems, maybe like Zorin or, uh, or um, I think on Zorin might comes on uh, by default. But we can easily check this out. Uh, flat pack is the package manager that you require. So if you go here and we go to get setup, we can see all the uh, flavors of Linux uh, that you can install this. And I said on Zorin OS, I think this comes by default. And yes, that's uh, that's exactly what I said. So you do have access on this. But for example, if you are on Ubuntu, you just need to install Flatpak. It's not very difficult. You just follow the, uh, the recommendations here. And uh, it's pretty straightforward because uh, all you need is a terminal. You just open the terminal. You take this part, if you are on, on Ubuntu, you place it in here and just follow the instructions and you're done with it. But I'm on uh, KakiOS and that's Arch Linux and you will install it as such. So once this is installed, then you have access to store directly and you can install it as such. Um, for uh, for uh, Ubuntu, you have Snap Store and that's another uh, uh, kind of uh, store. So anyway, uh, basically you would look up the software and then you install it. That's what you do. Um, good. Now, uh, we said that the uh, uh, other things that we have, uh, for example, if you want to uh, scan documents, also let me move this uh, here first. Uh, you're working uh, in office, of course, you may need to scan some documents, you may need to print some stuff, maybe. Um, I'm sorry, I'm saying about scanning documents, <laughs> images or uh, or text documents. So for this one, uh, you'd have something like document scanner. In generally, this comes uh, if you're on GNOME. Or you might find some some version of it on your operating system, if either Ubuntu or Zorin would have you. It's something like document. So if you type something, you see you have either document view or document scanner. In my case, it is document scanner. So it's very simple. You can immediately start to scan. For the moment, it's uh, it's not available for me uh, here because I don't have any scanner attached to the device. That's not an issue. If you have a scanner, in general, it's going to detect your scanner and you can easily scan with it. The other one would be uh, scans to PDF, which is in the same direction. I haven't installed it, but you can uh, you can go ahead and, and find it over the uh, Flatpak. Uh, I'm sorry, over the Flathub. Uh, uh, store. So you can go in that direction as well. Now, <clears throat> for PDF viewers, uh, we have something like Ocular and Evans. I have installed Ocular in here. Uh, and I also have uh, Evans, I think. No, uh, I have installed something else, PDF. Yeah, I'll show you in a moment. Does like foliate, I'm sorry, that's my bad. <clears throat> so foliate is just as good as as, uh, as reading PDF uh, documents as ocular uh, as well. But in my last year, I mentioned uh, ocular and Evans. Of course, Evans um, PDF is just as good as uh, everything else, like this one. Oh, but I think I, I had it document right. It's this one. My bad. Um, you can open a set PDF uh, documents with it and, and uh, read anything you want. Uh, they kind of show you how the interface looks like. So go ahead and use it. <laughs> That's all I, I could potentially uh, say about uh, this. Uh, since I opened the topic on, on, on uh, reading books, we have Calibre and Foliate. So let me open uh, Foliate and let me open also Calibre. So 
I have two pieces of software here. This is how Calibre looks. Um, both of them do pretty much the same thing. Uh, Calibre is a bit more advanced in terms of settings and preferences, whatever have you. Uh, granted, it looks a bit Spartan, but this doesn't matter because far more important is what do you want to, uh, to do. And also, you see they have all kinds of uh, options to add books, uh, what kind of books you can configure, which kind of uh, viewer you want to have uh, with these kind of things. But again, you can go ahead and feel free to, uh, to use it. But let's see a bit of a difference here. If I open this one, just say view. Uh, this is the the uh, default view uh, version. It's uh, basically an ink paper device, so you can read it. It also has the shop options here, uh, view as a specific format. So you can add EPUB or a few other uh, you know formats if uh, this is available. You can also convert books. Um, it's basically it has a lot of options, right? Uh, in the other side, we have this foliate. If I remember the, uh, I'm sorry if I opened the same book. Now it's a bit different because you also have this options out of the box. So you don't have to fiddle around with Calibre. So you can uh, quickly uh, switch to uh, different uh, you know, options to, uh, to uh, read this book. So there we go. <clears throat> you have plenty, plenty of options uh, to go about um, if you want to play uh, with, with uh, reading books. If you require um, electronic format uh, books or just PDFs, one. So that's good. Uh, let me get back a bit to uh, this other tool, Airnot and Joplin. So now, <clears throat> Joplin is a Markdown editor. Uh, it's a newer kind of thing. If you never heard of it, um, that's no problem. Um, it's based on HTML kind of. Uh, and CSS type of uh, um, representation in the uh, graphic uh, representation part of, of things, basically where you actually see the document rendered. Uh, but it comes with this specific format, a format which is called Markdown. Um, I'm not going to get into details too much with the Markdown. Maybe we're going to have a separate video and talk about it because it's a powerful tool. And on top of it, this is also free to use. Uh, what is it good for? Basically, anything you can come up with when taking notes. Uh, let's say, <clears throat> just for the fun of it, to see this part here, Joplin is dividing few parts. If I'm doing this, it's going to make the, uh, the text a bit uh, larger. If I am going to add another one, it's going to make the header smaller. That's what it does. So <laughs> this is your markdown uh, one one But the nice part with this one, uh, as I said, besides being free, uh, you get to do something which I haven't touched yet, but I'm going to tell you also in the other ones. Something is called synchronize. Uh, basically, you want to store, if you want to store your uh, document in the cloud, now Joplin offers out of the box either their own cloud, which um, they have decent pricing. You can also use Dropbox, you can also use OneDrive. Then we select, it's going to ask you to authorize and whatever you need to, uh, to do this. Because if I go here and I say Joplin Cloud, uh, we're going to go here, we're going to see their plans. Basically, it's 240 uh, a month and 479, whatever. So you just need to click and see uh, if this is something you want to go for. Uh, it's an option, yes. Just read about it and see uh, what's what in there. What? Let me minimize this as well. <clears throat> so that's a good part. But um, if you go to File, um, Synchronize in here. Uh, just where? What is it? Tools Manage? No Edit. I think it was somewhere. Somewhere Export All Synchronize. No Print Switch Profile. Print New Profile. Where is it? I know there is somewhere. Note, tools, options, right in the options. Uh, in synchronization here, you have these options, Dropbox, OneDrive, File System, Nextcloud, whatever you want. So you just choose one, then it's going to ask you again, 
show advanced settings, synchronizations, and what have you in here. Next cloud as well, no problem. Uh, granted, as it is right now, it seems there is no uh, Google Drive. But then again, for Google Drive, uh, really, if you want G Drive, you can just as well use uh, your browser directly and just you know uh, do it like that. But there is another option which I'll show you in a moment. But anyway, um, go ahead, uh, try Joplin as well. See if this fits your needs. <clears throat> it's good for taking notes, working, university, what have you. Now there's another option uh, which I uh, haven't shown. It's R Note. Now R Note. It's mostly just uh, writing and taking notes down very quickly. For example, if you want to say something, hello, hello. Of course, with mouse writing, that's not a <laughs> the best option. But uh, it also supports. Um, let's see if I can copy the image and go here and paste this image. Yes, you can paste image. You can write text. You can delete stuff if you want. From here, uh, I think with the image you need to select and then delete. So this is another good one, which is really good. Something um, I haven't touched in, and it's a very good one, and uh, something that I'm also using is this one, Obsidian. Now Obsidian, <clears throat> um. Is probably one of the uh, most advanced uh, markdown uh, note application. Um, granted, you'll find on YouTube a lot of videos explaining this in greater details. I'm telling you what, go ahead, take this one as well, uh, install it. It's a bit more advanced than the other ones because it also starts to, uh, you know, create this kind of nodes if you start to attach things. A lot of stuff that you want to uh, to do. Um, you can attach tags. You start to form some kind of a cloud uh, note taking system. You find things in a different kind of way. But um, going ahead, uh, it's up to you what you want to use. Um, you have now a lot of options here. So I'm just going to put Obsidian as well. Yeah. So basically, that's what you have. Um, Go ahead, uh, install all of this stuff. See what fits, uh, what not for you. And um, I hope you find other options uh, out there that kind of fit your needs. And before you go, I just want to remember uh, uh, again, on, uh, I'm sorry to remind you again, on this thing, you have the flat hub or you have the snap store or whatever other kind of package manager. You can go in here and and look at the uh, things like productivity or uh, <clears throat> whatever else you want to to look for it. Or for example, if you want to look for text editor, <clears throat> go ahead, see what you find, install it, test it. Don't be afraid to to uh, see what's uh, what's there. Maybe find uh, interesting stuff I haven't considered yet. If you find something that is totally worth it, please feel free to <clears throat> to comment and let me know about it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Um, have a look also on the other videos uh, I made already, and I'll see you in the next one.